Want to grow your real estate portfolio, but you don't have enough cash? This is a challenge many real estate investors face, which is why they look for no money down seller financing deals. In this video, I'm going to walk you through three simple steps to get these deals. First, finding the deals. Second, analyzing the deals. And third, making offers. My name is Aria Herrera, your fellow data scientist with the Tech and Real Estate channel, where we bridge the gap between real estate and technology. If you enjoy these step-by-step -step tutorials, then like this video so I know to make more content like it. All right, let's get started. Right now, we're looking at Zillow's listing site for Tampa, Florida. We have filtered down on for sale by owner properties. What does this mean? It means an owner of a property has listed the property for sale on their own without using an agent. Typically, owners will do this to save money for themselves and not have to pay a high commission. In order to find these properties, you can go search for your city, select for sale, select your relevant home types, and then toggle from agent to buy owner and other. So in this case, there's almost a thousand properties listed in the Tampa area for single family and multifamily homes, and there's 52 that are listed by owner. If we click into one of them, we could see that it has a tag called for sale by owner. And usually we have information on the property owner themselves where we can reach out to them for more information. Now I have detailed videos on how to automate getting this, my how to get Zillow for sale by owner properties with Python. And I also have it available if you don't know Python, but to utilize the tool that I have to extract this automatically. So I'm assuming that you've already have a knowledge of for sale by owner or how to get this data. So now how do you actually analyze it? So what I've done is I've taken those listings from Tampa, specifically my market, and I put them into a Streamlit app. A Streamlit app is like a quick web app, really useful for Python developers. Um, you could check it out more here. And I have a ton of videos on how to create Streamlit apps as well as the purpose of them. But essentially, instead of me having everything in a document, I've been able to aggregate the data. So in this case, I actually did this a couple of days ago where there was 39 properties for sale by owner. And I've taken this data and put it into this web app so I can quickly analyze. So imagine if you're using an Excel spreadsheet and you're doing pivot tables or you're looking at charts. I'm essentially doing the same thing, but with Python. And I put it into this app so it's easy to understand. So let's quickly walk through it. We could see that there's 39 properties for sale by owner with the median price being 450K. The median beds, three beds, two baths. And then we see some more interesting characteristics here. So of these properties, about almost half of them are likely fixer uppers. And that makes sense. A lot of for sale by owner, they know they're not gonna get the cream of the crop at times price. So they will sell fixer uppers. As well, how many meet the 1% rule for rent and price? There's four of the properties that do. How many have had price changes? 19. And this is very typical for for sale by owners. These owners will put their property and list it at, say, the Zestimate. But if it needs fixing up, it's probably not worth that amount. So you'll see them start to drop their prices as well. And we have one property that's mislabeled, which we'll get into. Why are we looking at for sale by owner? If we are looking to get seller financing, we look to find people who are distressed in some way, as well as high equity in their homes. This could be also overlap with for sale by owner. For sale by owner is great because we know the seller is already motivated. They've already tried to list themselves. So it could be a great opportunity to try to acquire the property for them. And if they have high equity, it could really be a win-win to do seller financing and potentially at 0% down payment. So I've taken those properties from here. I had those attributes I just walked you through, and I was able to calculate this all with Python. Um, this is the same types of metrics or a subset of them that we review for coffee closers. Looking at this outset, we could see down here is all of the data. So I have the street address for each for sale by owner in Tampa, Florida, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, living area, price, property type, year built, date posted. So I have this sorted by the most recent. So there were two that were recent of March 18th and the owner phone number. 
Now, what if we want to analyze some of these deals? So I have some options on the left-hand side for property attributes like bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, etc. But some things that may be more interesting, like mislabeled property type. We have here that this property is mislabeled, which means that it could be a single family home labeled, but really is maybe a commercial space, or we can add an ADU, maybe it's really a multifamily space. So if I pull this property up, we could see here that although it's listed as single family from this listing here, that in the description, it is actually a duplex, four bed, two bath, six space parking lot. So this is the kind of things that we want to flag programmatically, um, which we do with that mislabeled property. So this could help us you know, acquire a duplex, two units in one shot. But what if we're looking to find a property that maybe we know can cash flow from day one? So I'm going to instead go to meets 1% rule. There's only a handful of properties that do, one of them being this 8738 N Tangerine Place. So I'm going to click this. Here we could see a little bit more about the property. I'm going to go into some photos. And it's re relatively small, about 1,000 square feet, some clutter, but overall doesn't look to be in bad shape. Um, AC unit, but nothing that would make me think, oh, wow, this is going to be a teardown or a super big repair. As we go down, we could see more information on the property itself. More importantly, we can get more of a view of the neighborhood. So this neighborhood is rated as a B minus. We can see information on economics. Employment rate in this area is about 77%, which is about 6% above the state average. So although median household income may be relatively low, there is a good amount of employment in the area, which is good. We could look at more information on the market as well as metrics. The median cash on cash here in this area is 23%, which is pretty high. So I'm assuming there's a lot of fixer uppers in this part of town. We could also see where this property is. It's actually in the northeast part of Tampa, uh, close to Temple Terrace. There's universities probably like seven minutes away from here. From being a local, I know it's a growing area. We could also look at rental comps as well as after repair value comps, which is pretty huge. So let's go and start to run numbers. Maybe we want to do a burst. So we want to hold on to this property. We see the rent values and we could look at other estimates as well. We could see the rent estimate, the comps median estimate, as well as zip code rent. So based on this, we could decide what the rent would be after we are able to add some value. We could also review purchase prices, which we are pulling in some as well, and we can estimate our rehab costs. So let's say if we believe that it's going to be $11 per square foot in order to renovate this property, and we believe the ARV is going to be 280K, then we could see what our cash on cash would look like, as well as our ARV spread. So let's imagine at this point that we're satisfied with this property, and now we want to just make sure that it has high equity. So if we go back to this little app, we could see high equity equals true. How I got this information is that one of the main APIs that we use is Real Estate API. They have information on properties as well as owners. If you want free access to their API, you'll be able to get that for one week during our hackathon. So definitely check that out to learn more. But for this video, our main purpose is to see, okay, how do we get these deals? I just showed you on Zillow how to get those deals, how to analyze these deals. And then lastly, how do we actually make an offer on this deal? Now, I want to prepare you because this may blow your mind because it hit for me when I first learned about this. So Offer REI is a tool that I'm an affiliate of and is one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, offer system and generator that I have seen to date. The creator behind it is super, super smart and has been taking in feedback from so many different wholesalers, investors, and other professionals to make this one of the best products in the space. How does it work? Well, first, one of my biggest issues when trying to make off-market offers was how do I actually make the offer? Like, how do I structure the deal? How do I actually create a template? That part just became so overwhelming. They've been able to solve this by having a really simple layout. So in this case, if we want to make an offer on that property, 
So I'm going to copy this address and come to offer REI, add a new property and paste the address here. In seconds, it will locate the address and we can confirm based on the property image that we have that this is the correct property. Once we hit confirm, it will then generate more property details, including an estimate. We see we have the building, about a thousand square feet, two beds, one bath. Who the owner is, it looks to actually be by an LLC. Maybe they had purchased it in all cash. Back in 2016 is when it was last purchased. And there doesn't seem to be any information on a loan. So let's go into creating a document. When we go into creating a document, we can already see if there's values populated for us, including the market value, as well as cash discount assignment fee. These are all things that we can amend as we like. But just to drive what the actual value is of this product, I'm going to download the maximum acceptable offer, as well as the multi-tier offer. We could read this document in more details to understand maximum allowable offer, how it's derived, as well as how much we have to consider for things like repairs as well as the wholesaler's fee. Now for the multi-tier offer, it's really brilliant. So we get this document that we can edit ourselves. So it's not just some PDF document that we're stuck with. And here we see that we can enter in our business name, our number, our own address, which we could do up front so that every template going forward has our own information. We have the seller's name here and the address. Automatically, we're able to get multi-tier offer, starting with one that's actually a lot higher than what we had previously. We had the market value was 197, and we see here 241. Why? Well, this could be a great enticing deal to get your foot in the door and actually get an appointment with that seller. This is a 0% down deal. It would be at a higher interest rate as well as higher monthly payments, but could get you this deal with low money down. Then we could see offer two and three as well. This also generates amortization schedules too. And again, even more information to help you customize this document for it to really be your own. I hope this video has been useful for you to understand how you can find no money down deals, seller financing for sale by owner by utilizing free resources like Zillow, data analytics by leveraging tools built with Python, as well as leveraging tools to automate actually creating deals. If you'd like me to do a video on an end to end of how to do this all programmatically, I will definitely do so. Let me know in the comments below. As well, if you want more videos with for sale by owner data, or other types of data sets that can help find creative deals, let me know as well. Thanks.